Hi everyone, welcome back to If My Heart Are Wings, Akiha's Root, episode 11. So, episode 10, we kind of start to see some of the reasons why Akiha is acting strange. So, Akiha tried to skip out on the unveiling event, so where the modified glider is ready for flight, and I at least want to see Agiha witness their new glider take off for the first time. But for some reason, she kept hiding in school, and he finally got Agiha to speak up about why. So Agiha is kind of afraid, and it's like, well, every time you have a secret base or some kind of place where we all group together, it falls apart at some point. So first, the base where they as little kids hang out. So that got demolished in favor of Wendy. And then number two, the old garage that housed the original soaring club. And now Agatha's I, I afraid that their third secret base, so the dock owned by the twins, will be shut down too. And even though she says that she's trying hard to protect it by distracting Tobiyuki Sensei, she hasn't really given an update to the other members. And that's what kind of got Aoi, Katori, Amane, and the twins a little bit upset. So now that they've talked to each other, hopefully things are going better. And now Agaha is going to go to the runway and see what's up. So first of all, we have Asa, who is saying... <laughs> so Asa was the first one to find us. Oh, um, so we're late. So are you okay? So why is Amani acting or looking strange? So I wonder what's wrong. Maybe the glider had some problems or they're getting tired of doing test flights. Oh yeah, so I remember Amani was the one that was doing the piloting, along with Katori. Um, yes. So I heard everything. Anchan's eyes seem to ask if I'm okay. Well, it's fine. I'm still like, well, I still like her. Anchan gave me the slightest of nods. Ah, so I never had, I never had doubt in mind, not in the slightest. Yep. Anchan and I gave each other a bro fist. So, I can't wait to see what the results are tomorrow. Okay. Across the room, Agiha was talking with Yoru about something. She showed none of the sweetness from before. And she instead took on the form of an earnest technician. I'm determined to fly in the glider. I'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. And that is the figure and face that will support me on my flights. Ah! And at that moment, I felt from the bottom of my heart just how happy I was to be in love with Ageha. And so now it's I always turn to fly. And on the new wings, I flew high into the skies for the first time in a year. Ooh, wow! 
So I'm sure he now experiences like, wow, this is better than before. And it's so fast that Katori couldn't catch up. I could see Katori having a fit in the rear, but I ignored her and tested the glider's performance in a variety of ways. Well, he should at least go easy on Katori. So this new aircraft moves as if it were a part of me. It smoothly goes wherever I want it to go. The front of the wings show precision response to the air currents, glowing or allowing me to fly freely from right to left, up and down. So this is amazing. Katori, this is amazing. Hey, don't forget, this is only a test. So in a fit of anger, Katori attempted to pilot the glider from her own seat. So I reluctantly behaved myself for the rest of the flight. So Katori is trying to bring the glider back to control, make it fly smoothly without all those acrobats or acrobatic movements. Okay, so landing. So the glider flew extraordinarily well, but a more orthodox design might be better in terms of safely of safety when landing or taking off. However, that's a small complaint for a superior glider that can do so much. I guess that's what it'll take if I'm to hang with the morning glory. Okay. I'm back, well just the same as I left. I lightly spread both arms as if to decorate or declare my safe return. So those around us seemed puzzled. So it's very peaky, just as we thought. It's completely different from the last glider. So you feel like a bird when you fly it. With this on our side, I think we'll be able to handle the morning glory. So yeah, that's good. And I wonder what Akari is doing. Oh, so our leader looks angry. Okay, so she's criticizing Aoi for flying too crazy. It's like, well, hopefully you will be more safety conscious next time you fly. I'm sorry, I got the data I needed, so I doubt I'll have to fly like that again. So, time to reflect. I personally had a blast, but it was not hard to tell how afraid the rest of those who watched had been. Not to mention that it would probably be best to avoid upsetting a leader to when, to whom I still owe so much to. Understood. So Agaha bowed her head with Anchan, Akari, Masasugu, and the rest. And everyone took a picture to commemorate the occasion. Okay, so here we go. Aga set the timer and quickly returned to her place within the group. In several seconds, we waited. And avoiding everyone's notice, Agaha grabbed my hand in hers. And in the span of less than a second, our eyes met. So even if you fly the morning glory, even if our dreams come true, even after that, we'll be together forever. And the feeling of her hand in that thought wasn't straight to my heart, or went straight to my heart. And I squeezed her hand back. And just like that, the picture taken showed us both with the rest or the best of smiles. So I wonder what the picture looks like after it gets processed. Well, I guess we won't be able to see it. Katori rolled off 
in Hibari's car. Partly because of the fact that it's summer vacation, so visits from Hibari that are normally only on weekends have become increasingly frequent. And today, my parents joined us for a meal. So the Kazata twins, who apparently intends to tell their grandfather and the school board chairman about the maiden flight of the glider, rides off in a chauffeured car. Okay, so they leave in an elegant way. Zanchan and company also return home, leaving Agaha and I alone in. The secret base. Okay, so what's going on now? So I'm gonna hi and I just the two of us, and no one else. So with nobody else coming, um. So the air is heavy, as if something embarrassing just happened. So you circle the glider while subtly trying to avoid looking at each other. So we'll need to see how high it can fly first. We'll have to figure out if it can even reach 2,000 meters or not. So then, um, yeah. So there don't seem to be any abnormalities in the wings. So our walk around the glider gradually slows. And gradually, the distance between us narrows, and we are both talking about the glider. But over time, the words stop making sense, and then both of our bodies grew heavy. <laughs> so I really have no idea how many times I've kissed Ageha. But this is the first time that we've kissed each other without me being taken by surprise. <sighs> so, sighting with satisfaction, she pulls away from my face, and our eyes met. So, as if sucked inside them, I found myself wanting to kiss her again, and then. Um. So, what is it? Um, nothing. So, are you by chance trying to tell me you like me? Well, I'm sure that's an obvious yes. So, with a face that looked like a bullseye that been hit, Ageha. Averted her gaze. Well, it's okay. Even if we become a couple, it's not like it means the end of the soaring club. So we'll still be, to be together. We'll still work with Katori and the twins in Amane. So. So you don't trust the others. So you're afraid that once we move on, they're gonna break apart. So you go to Janai, but. Well, it, it is tough. I've carried the baggage with me for six years now. If I could end so easily, it would be so painful. And if you're really nervous about it, we don't have to flirt or do anything like that in public. So wouldn't it be okay? Mom, ne. But times like this are the best. I put my arms around Agiha's shoulders. But I really like you, Ayaha. And she replies with a kiss. Well, so that means it's okay. Um. Okay. Yes. But in front of a stranger, it's not like. But don't forget. So we have other people around, and we should still act normally when we're in front of other people. Don't. 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 Don
And it'll be embarrassing if we were caught kissing in front of other people. I got it. So we can't let others see us at our most vulnerable state. And just thinking of giving them material with which to tease us makes my head hurt. Well, by the way, so there's something I want to start doing for the time being. Nani? So once more, I want you to give me a reply. So I like you, so please be my one and only. Well, okay then, so now I want to hear the same from you. So what's your response? So, is Agiha going to respond correctly? Or is she going to respond... Or she still has some second thoughts? Hey, uh... Wait, so what on earth do you mean? So I think she's still kind of afraid to admit so. So you can't say it? But right now is the problem, right? So when when can you say it? Um uh, well anytime so just not now. So when then? Well then I'm not going to listen. So now you want to say it? And at the right time, Aiha's cell phone rings. So just as Aiha was speaking, her phone rings suddenly. So Aiha suddenly stiffened as I got away from or asked to get away from me. Her face changed from playful to serious. So I wonder what is going on. So why serious? So I got muttered in a daze. So what's wrong? So apparently, my friends from another club, they're investigating and they suspect that there's a good chance that Morning Glory is going to appear tomorrow. Wait, what? So, so suddenly? We looked at the glider, sitting there without its main wings. Ooh, so that's too soon. So it was just today that they got to fly this for the first time and now the real thing is coming shortly. So not enough time to practice. We still haven't finished testing it. We don't know if those wings are strong enough to take the glider through the cloud corridor. Okay, so what happened was that, so in the Japanese version, there's actually an NH scene that happens around the time when Aoi starts to be interested in Agiha and the fact that they're kissing. And I think it happens between the kissing part and then the part when he asks Agiha if she really likes him. But anyways, going back to this. So we return to the dormitory as quick as possible. So first, we need to contact everyone. Oh, so Katori, um, sorry. So we just got a call from the observatory club. So is it the astronomy club or the observatory club? Because um, 
It looks like it's from the same club, but it looks like they're using two different names to label it. So after we had contacted everyone, Agiha and I kept quiet in the silent dormitory. And has it finally come? And I wonder if it really will happen. And I wonder if everything will go according to plan. So if we just had three more days, we could have tested whether it was possible to go above 2,000 meters. So now we have to test it as we're doing the actual event. But then again, the weather's unpredictable, so... Um, okay. Uh, wait, quit messing around. So, no. Haha, <laughs> ha, just... Just kidding. <laughs> So she cutely pu pokes her tongue out, then heads off to the dormitory bathroom, where she somehow knows the location of. Well, then again, it's not her first time going in there. She went in there that one time with Katori and Amane. And the morning glory is coming. My dream. The sky's passage to pass through it. And to that end, have worked so hard this past year. But if it does actually come, well, damn it. I start to tremble. So are these goosebumps caused by my excitement or fear flying a machine I'm not used to? So about two hours later, everyone shows up at the dorm. Katori returns after cutting short spending time with her family. The so the Kazata sisters also had to interrupt spending time with their grandfather. And Agaha returns from home carrying bags with things to stay the night. And... For some reason, Hotaru is here. Well, I guess that's okay. So the number of people has increased, but in essence, it's the same people who camped out here together last year. So Amane is here as well. She says, turning up without even saying hello, very much like her. Ayaha holds up raw data that she has apparently received from the Astronomy Club. Amane and Yoru scrutinize the data. So... It is coming. Right, so this is the time. The dormitory is empty, so everyone makes pre preparations to stay. So last year, the day and time we would stay over was decided beforehand, but this time it was so last minute it caused quite a commotion. So dinner and breakfast preparations, allotting shifts to check sky conditions. Let's see, contingency plans should anything go wrong, we have a lot to do. And when it comes to this sort of thing, Aga's the one we depend on. So, Aiha understands, in this situation, there isn't much for Amani to do. 
It's like, well, Amana can't really do any housework, and all she can do is just watch and monitor. And she can't even... Or there's not really a purpose to do calculations or experiments right now. So, you too, go to sleep. You gotta be all energized, all awake for the test flight. But, can I do something? So, it's not really good if you just put us to sleep while you do all the work in the background. Well, go to sleep. There you go. And same thing, it's like, well, all of you are working hard, so it's kind of weird for us to go to sleep while... So resting is the best thing to do. We can do. I was says to Katori. Do you want to fly in the morning glory having barely stepped and being all groggy? That would be unwise, you understand? So from now, we'll sleep, then over two days, get our bodies to peak condition, time, time it to when we think the morning glory will come. So I learned this from my experience in competitions, so I'm used to this. So... Okay, so it looks like Katori will go to sleep, as she's told. And as I push the wheelchair, Katori turns around and looks apologetically at everyone, busily working in the food hall. Okay, so good night. Oyasumi, Aoi. Oh, Peppa, Aoni, Sainete. I don't think that's needed. Anta wa kochi. So you're gonna be working too. As Hotara tries to follow after me, Aika grabs her by the collar and pulls her back. <laughs> so plucked up like a child, that's Hotaru. Well, that's not happening tomorrow. So it's not happening tomorrow morning. So if we wake up early here tomorrow, then tomorrow night we'll go straight to sleep then. So basically, get healthy, and this is... So in these two days, that's... Ayo wants Katori and Ayo to shape up. Well, I'm going to dream of the morning glory flying through that perfect passage of clouds, making it a dream that comes true. So, I also make preparations to sleep, then leave the room. So, it's been a year since, um, well, then. So much has happened. And last year, when as now, we were waiting like this, I never would have thought that these things would happen. So the garage was destroyed. The glider, having lost its home, was hidden in the dorm for one year. The group remained resigned to the fact. And then Asa and Yoru became part of the club. And then everything things just start to open up. And then... So that we would be able to fly with the machine which we rebuilt. And if you were to show the current me to the old me, the one who one year before last was riding bicycles, he probably wouldn't believe his eyes. I never imagined I would have an accident, or that the accident would hurt my leg so much that I couldn't compete anymore. But because of that, I found gliders and made new friends. So the best friend I love, I even got a girlfriend. But still, she still hasn't told me that she feels the same. 
So despite myself, I can't help but have a shadow over my heart. Okay, so it's been decided. So the morning glory really does happen, and if I can pass through the unscathed, I will have her say it. If I fall or fail, she doesn't have to say a thing. And this is what I will tell Ageha. So if our long-held dream of this past year comes true, then my other dream should come true, right? Well, maybe. I'm allowed to hope for that much, aren't I? So, God of the Skies. Okay, so I don't think I can sleep very well. So it's in the middle of the night, and okay, so I'm awoken by the alarm while it's still dark. Wait, what? And as I expected. I'm incredibly sleepy, but I don't feel like I'm lacking sleep though. Well, it's fine. If I had to fly straight from now, there would be no problem. So it seems that everyone else is sleeping, so the dorm is quiet. And then I hear the sound of a wheelchair. So I think Katori couldn't sleep either. Oh, so you're awake too? Okay. Well, I'm feeling good, so leave it to me. So, Katori, you've grown up, haven't you? You never used to be the person to say something like that. Well, I'm not sure. So, what kind of guy? Hmm. I still feel that you like to go after girls or trying to be this ladies' man. Wait, in what way? But then again, those weren't set up by Ayoi. It was more like the girls coming to him for some reason. Uh, well, that is a. Uh... Oh, but then again, in the beginning, it was Ayoi who tried to connect to them. So he went to the garage and saw Mane on the drawing board. So, so much has happened. It feels like ancient history now. So, it hasn't been a month yet. <gasps> so, are you trying to add me into the mix? That's kind of. Well, not good. Well, no way. They'll never. They'll never happen. Or is it more like, well, you don't want me, right? And for some reason, Hotaru is awake. Hey, um. So I'm grabbed from behind. Well, is it. Just me, or has Hotaru espionage skills improved? Oh, okay, so rest well. So actually, Hotaru has been monitoring the skies for all these abnormalities, or basic conditions that could indicate that morning glory is coming. And now her turn is done. And it gives Katori the impression, well, I was still a ladies' person, or I was still a ladies' person because he's that close to Hotaru. Hey, um, wait a minute. Uh, so Yoru? She was positioned at a table with a computer in front of her. Oh, so thank you for your hard work. Well, 
Um, okay, so what's on the screen then? So some kind of program is running on the notebook computer, but the screen is completely black. So I'm basically monitoring the weather from here. So I put all those instruments by the runway, by the glider, and it kind of makes it easy so that Yor doesn't have to go out into the cold and sit there and watch the weather conditions herself. So you did all that? Okay, well I thought you people were up... Okay, hold on, I went too fast. Oh, so I thought you guys were up to something. So it was this? So I should have known, she really is something. Oh, so... Does it conclude that there's nothing coming? So I'm comparing to the conditions 27 years ago, so around the, the time when it did happen. So today we'll do altitude tests? Well, I think it's going to be bad weather until the morning glory. So it's going to rain, and that's going to make it impossible to fly. Oh, jeez. Well, thanks. So you keep it up for just a little longer. And for my part, I prepare breakfast so that everyone can eat whenever they wake up. And unfortunately today is windy. So a little after it started to brighten outside but as Yoru said, the sky hangs heavy with clouds and a fairly strong wind is blowing. And at the moment, nothing is happening. Hmm. So I wonder if we should just go back to sleep because um, we can't do anything today. Well, that won't do. So stay awake until sundown. Well, I guess. Hey, um, hello. Good morning. So at least it's not today. Well, that's a good thing. But still, we got to prepare for this, so... Uh, Ageha? So because Hattori is be next to us, I can't say it. So when you get back, there's something I want to ask you, okay? Okay then. So I'll be off. Okay, cool. So I wave with a feeling of disappointment and watch Agiha leave. And then, this afternoon... So I watch as the glider is taken out of the secret base and carried onto the runway. Ooh, so the wind's picked up, hasn't it? So, so it's gonna rain soon. So last year the sky was pretty rough, similar to those conditions. I want to fly though. But they can't change this weather. So if it was that flying area I always go to, the instructor would decide whether or not the flight would be cancelled. But now there's only us. So I wonder, should we cancel this flight, abort the mission, or should we just try to fly anyways? 
But then again, it's better to be safe, so they should just cancel it. Hi, Mina. Um, so did something happen? Okay, well, I guess we'll have to cancel the fight then. So, the Morning Glory does come tomorrow. It's unfortunate that this would have to be the eve of the event. For things to develop like this, I can't describe how much it puts a damper on things. And after we, we return to the secret base, the raindrops begin to fall. So now it is raining. Oh, that was close. Yare, yare ne. Not being able to fly, I can't help but feel a little uneasy. So do you want to use the simulator then? Sore shika nai wa ne. Okay, well I guess that's all we have. So our mood before the real thing couldn't be worse. But right at the moment... So why is Ayuha happy about the rain? Ayuha comes running in dripping wet. So at least the glider is safe. Oh, so the glider? Yep. So Ayuha pulls out an ultra small camera from her back. So some cameras to broadcast this event. Wait, so you want to do a live broadcast to you? もちろん。こんなイベント逃してはないって話も近けたら向こうもノリノリ。で、こっちが天文部からの依頼の戦車ね。モーニンググローリー発生時の大気の状態を記録するの。well, I guess you traded an old weather data for this. Well, everyone wins, I guess. Hmm, wow, so that much. So is this what you told them? そうそうそう。いろいろ機材使わせてもらったり、便宜測ってもらったり、ね。ここにいるからわからないだろうけど、学校の方だともう大注目されてるよ。夏休みなのに学園祭前夜って感じ。so, is that going to be okay? What if the school finds out? Well, especially Chiwika Sensei. So, we fooled him during the summer vacation and we didn't have any trouble with him since then. So, I felt at ease. But then, but then again, if they do broadcast it and present it, it'll be too late for Tariqa Sensei to do anything about it, so it doesn't really matter at that point. And isn't that kind of commotion a little dangerous? <laughs> so it should be okay. And at that moment, I was probably the only person who saw the wild look in Agaha's eyes. So, if Tobiruka tries to get in the way, I don't know what, but she will do something about it. So, at our prompting, we all hustle towards the glider. Yeah, well, it's crazy. I'm starting to get a bit excited, though. Um, so a shiver runs through me. Katori, same thing. And trembling with excitement, wait, not excitement. 
なんだか寒くない So, AC? あセンサーに反応外の気温ぐんぐん下がってる So, some alert on Yoru's weather system. So, Yoru runs to the computer connected to the outside observation cameras. Hmm, so we all looked at each other. And the three precursors to the morning glory that we researched last year. So apparently, there's hard evidence that all of those things are happening. So it concludes that. Okay, so the three conditions. Number one, the day before, there will be a humid, strong wind, humidity high enough to put water drops inside a public refrigerator. Number two, at twilight on the day, The eastern sky turns purple. And number three, it'll become so cold that you can't believe it's still summer. Hold on, so wait, is that real? <laughs> so it concludes that morning glory will happen tomorrow. So this time, I shake with excitement for real. Oh wow! So the purple sky. The rain has stopped. It's humid. A chilling wind continues to blow. And when we open our eyes wide, the eastern sky has turned bluish purple color. The western sky, where the sun is still settling, is its usual orange color. Without question, the sun is there. But the eastern sky is also lit. As if it were near dawn, a faint color resides within. So it's completely different from last year. An overwhelming feeling that this is the real thing. Yep, it's coming. The morning glory really is coming. And what we've been waiting for, what we've dreamed about, the passage of clouds will appear. Okay, so yes, we're going to do it. And suddenly, the gloom that had been hanging over us is replaced by elation. And for some reason, Hotaru still calls Aoi darling. Well, I know you don't mean me. Do you Prepare for evening, Asa and Hotaru go out shopping. That's true. So, for my part, I'm getting fired up about the flight plan. Okay, so, alright. Shouting out the same way I did, Agaha hits her palm with her fist. So, wait, where are you? A presidential candidate? Okay, right. I take a quick look at everyone behind me. The coast is clear, you can do it. Hey, I'm、um, so Agiha, I have one thing I need to ask you. Oh, also, Nanka, I did it. So, what is the one thing? Um, so, like when I confess to her before I take a deep breath. So, I'm gonna fly. And if I return in one piece, I'd like you to say those words to me. So I still want to hear your answer.、Uh. Aga takes on a serious expression and looks straight at me. 
So waiting for one year, preparing for one year, my dream to fly, all of that, I'll dedicate to hearing you say those words. And isn't that enough? So even if I go that far, you won't say it. Well, it's not appropriate right now because there are other people around. Aga's eyes begin to shake. She averts her gaze timidly. And then in a voice, almost crying. Okay. She whispers. Okay, yes. So I got her to promise. So more than ever to its highest point. Alright then. So I'm going to fly. No question. I will fly. I'm flying. She says, turning red. And as if running away, Ayuha goes out. While watching her walk away, I softly make a fits and assume a pose of triumph. So at least I got her to promise to say those words. Alright, so all that's left is to fly. But still... So after that, unexpected obstacles come from unforeseen angles which endanger tomorrow's flight. So what do they encounter? So the first obstacle is... Uh oh, so Mane has some doubts. So Mane says out of the blue. The shopping group returns, it's dinner time. Aga hasn't returned yet, but she sends out an email saying to start without her. So we cook and start eating. So after we finish, we take the glider to the runway, after which we will take turns sleeping, keeping watch over the glider and checking the sky's condition, and then wait until dawn and then take off. Okay, so that sounds like a good plan. And right when we are discussing the plan and getting all excited. So what reasons does Amani have for no flight? As usual, the Kazatsata sisters do their beauty and injustice by eating like pigs. Or more like Mochizuki sensei. So Katori turns around, stops her mouth, which looked like it would bite into the plate itself and looks absentmindedly. So why? So of course, the room goes dead silent. Amani says timidly but clearly while licking fried chicken off her fingers. So can we fly in those conditions? Hold on, Katori. So calm down. Let's hear what she has to say. I restrain Katori while I myself am breaking into a cold sweat. So I kind of feel it's dangerous. Amai says, honestly, shaking. So I trying to evade? So 
でも命を懸けてまでやることじゃないましてただの部活動で So let's try to play it safe So, Yoru can't think of a reply and falls silent. Asa also tries to protest but can't find the right words and becomes quiet. Katori bursts out irrationally. I know. So, I know. 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 I k n ここは引いてくれないか。Well, that'd be too late. アホかー。And she loses it. 待てるわけないでしょ。今しかないのよ。Okay, right. So now or never. I slowly open my mouth. Until now, I was sorting out my thoughts. No, that's not it. I wasn't thinking. I was sorting my feelings and. Steering on my resolve. Um, so I'm sorry, Amane. So, no matter what happens, we are going to fly. So, the one who taught us about gliders, the one who showed us the dream of the morning glory, was you. And I would have taken responsibility, or I want. Okay, so I would have you take responsibility for that. So, if the morning glory occurs, no matter what happens, we will fly. So, that's a done deal. Okay, then. I'm prepared for the risk of being injured or worse. And no matter how much we say it, it's fine. I know it won't make any difference. I don't want to cause any trouble for you, so if you decide that it's impossible, then I'll turn back. Really? すぐそこに目的のものがあってもか。Well, even if it's morning glory, it's in front of my eyes. Even if I'm a hundred meters in the air, if you say so, I'll turn back. 本当だな。約束だぞ。破ったらさすがの私も怒るぞ。死ぬまで死なすぞ。Okay, well, I'll be killed unless until I die. That's a lie, or that's fine. So, right, I'm probably waiting or walking the same path Amane walked last year. And just as long as I can fly in morning glory. And after that, all there that's left. And flying by itself is, of course, amazing. But if I'm able to fly tomorrow, will I be able to let go of my emotions and turn back if it's dangerous like Amane? So it's the fact that I understand this that means that tomorrow, no, today, I will fly. So I think it's past midnight. I will fly with these feelings that I could only have at the moment. Well, you people. So, what's your decision now? 先生として危ないところへ行けと言えないのは分かってほしいただどうしてもと
全員が一丸となって行動されたら私一人では止められないのは仕方ないよなやった OK then Alright So you say the Kazatsuta sisters with a slap So they both say yay Great, so this way all obstacles have been cleared. And then, as we all. So, as we are in all high spirits, another obstacle appears. So, what's this one? Or perhaps it'd be better to say a bomb dropped on us. Okay, so what's this that is kind of impeding their progress? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to leave that to the next episode. And I'm hoping that the next episode will be the last episode in Agaha's Root. So, so far, even though Aoi has admitted to or confessed to Agaha that he likes her, he hasn't heard the response the other way around. And he's trying hard to get Agaha to say so. But I think it's because Agaha's kind of shy about it and. It kind of feels uncomfortable for her to mention it in front of many people. So, as for Mane, she is kind of concerned because she herself has gone into accidents and she was lucky to survive. And out of her concern for other people, she wants everyone to be safe and it's like, well, how about we just stick with regular activities? And hopefully. Everything goes well, and despite all the rough weather, they'll be able to fly. So, anyways, with that in mind, I'll see you in the next episode.